Hi guys! I hope you had a good long weekend. Hopefully got to play outside or get some fresh air. Um, hopefully take a break from the screen. Um, but today um, I'm going to read you a story. It's a folk tale about corn and it's a Maya folk tale. And um, here we go. A Quetzalcoatl tale of corn. Quetzalcoatl is a mythological figure of the Mesoamerican people, the region including Mexico and Central America. He is considered to be kind and gentle and known for helping his people in time of need. According to Mesoamerican legend, Tonacaptepet, or the Mountain of Sustenance, was the secret storage place for maize, or corn, the food of the gods. Quetzalcoatl, the priest, gathered the children around the fire. He told them a story of the old, old days of his ancestor, Quetzalcoatl, the god. He told them first that Quetzalcoatl often took the form of a feathered serpent or bird snake, and that he once followed a trail of ants to Tonacatepet, the mountain of sustenance, to find food for his people. This is the story he told. Disenki, they say that, long ago, there was no food for the people of the earth. The people begged, the children cried, and Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent, heard their sadness. Quetzalcoatl wanted very much to help the people that he loved. One day, Quetzalcoatl followed a trail of ants to Tonacatepet, the mountain of sustenance, where the gods stored their food. There he met an army of red, giant red ants who were standing guard over a spectacular array of corn. Quetzalcoatl asked the ants for some kernels of corn, to which they replied, Maize is food for the gods. Why do you want it? My people are hungry, said Quetzalcoatl. Are your people gods? asked the army of red ants. No, Quetzalcoatl, said Quetzalcoatl. They are simply hungry people who live on earth. It doesn't matter that the people of the earth are hungry, said the stubborn ants. This corn is only for the gods. The people of the earth will starve unless they get some food, said Quetzalcoatl. I must help my people, Quetzalcoatl said to himself. Quetzalcoatl spread his powerful jade-colored wings and circled Tonacatepet, the mountain of sustenance. He needed time to think. If I can turn myself into an ant, Quetzalcoatl thought, I can take some of the corn back to the people on Earth. Quetzalcoatl. 
Quetzalcoatl flew to the pyramid at the peak of the mountain of sustenance. There he secretly turned himself into an immense black ant and cautiously crawled over to the red ant army. He asked to see their corn. The giant red ants were very proud of their treasure and eagerly took Quetzalcoatl ant to the storeroom, where they opened the enormous storeroom doors. There Quetzalcoatl ant saw corn of many colors, red, yellow, white, blue, purple, brown, orange, and black. Could I hold some of this beautiful corn? Quetzalcoatl ant asked. I would like to get a better look. I've never seen maize with so many lovely colors. The giant red ant smiled proudly and handed Quetzalcoatl a kernel of each corn. With corn kernels in each hand, Quetzalcoatl ant quickly turned himself back into the feathered serpent. And swooped away with the precious corn. Quetzalcoatl planted the corn in the fertile earth. He called on his friends the rain and the sun to help the kernels grow. Soon Quetzalcoatl was able to share a gigantic harvest of corn with the people of the earth. The people of the earth roasted the maize, ground it into meal, baked cakes, and made delicious tortillas. They thanked Quetzalcoatl for bringing corn to the hungry people. The end. So um, I've included a few of the illustrations from this book because they're very beautiful illustrations. So I'd love if you picked one of the illustrations and recreated it yourself. Um, please I would love if you used paint. I really encourage you to use uh, paint if you have it, watercolor paint. If you don't have it, uh, pencils or crayons also work, um, but or markers, whatever you have. But if you have watercolor paint, that would be great, and make sure to make it super colorful. All right, I hope you enjoyed that story. Bye, guys.